So Patrick, what are we doing? So for the last few years, I've been using a 2014 5K iMac and it was all going really well until I started editing more videos. And then it wasn't going so well. Then I retired that iMac, put it in the other room, and I started using my 16 inch MacBook Pro from 2019 in desktop mode. And if you've ever tried to daily drive a MacBook Pro in desktop mode, it's terrible. And it can do it, but it doesn't do it very well. And I've been holding out for a long time for a new 27 inch iMac Pro or M1 27 inch iMac because I like the larger displays. And I'm not a big fan of the new colors on the uh, small iMac. So in the meantime, I've got a Mac Mini. It's here today, but there's one more thing I wanna do. This entire office was essentially picked up and transplanted from Daytona Beach to Chattanooga. I mean, everything in here is in the exact same order it was. Today we're gonna redo it, make it feel more, more new, I suppose. So if you were to come around here, you may see it's, I mean, is it that bad? I mean, it's, I've, you know, it's, I've honestly seen worse, I think. Have you? I mean, it's not great. There's no attempt. And so I think attempting would go a long way. That's gonna, Nick can help us. The desk is gonna go up against this wall. This is going to house the TV for now until we can find screws, which we forgot to get when we yes. went out, so that I can mount the TV on the wall because the screws aren't the right size. I'm excited. It's time for a change. I've also got an LED light strip that we're gonna set up um, behind the desk. Hard drive, hard drive. HDMI switcher because this very good monitor only has one HDMI input. Router, the most useless stand for a MacBook I've seen. It was $120 and it has an ethernet port. It's meant for this MacBook. This MacBook does not support ethernet. Google Home, monitor, plant, light, gaming laptop, stand, key on keyboard, you know, the basic, the basic boy setup. That's what this is. So let's turn this rat's nest into a happy home. It's not that bad, is it? So the desk is in the, well, I was gonna say general position. No, it's in the position it's gonna be in. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. It opens this up. A bunch. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I think I'm gonna get like a chair or a small futon to put here so that I can uh, have my games. I like it. Going well. So while Nick is working on the actual setup itself, let's go ahead and open up the Mac Mini because that's what we do with this company. We make other people do the hard work. Tear that off. I am so excited for this. And there we are. The M1 Mac Mini powerhouse, honestly. It, while it was in shipping, I was calling it my Mighty Mac. Let's go ahead and get the top of this box off. Oh, wow, that's a stunning thing. It reminds me so much of the original Apple TV, which makes sense. Honestly, for such a cheap piece of equipment, it, in comparison to standard Apple products, this feels very high quality. All right, and in typical Apple fashion, we've got the quick getting started papers as well as, I believe, yes, oh wow, a large Apple sticker. It's actually bigger than the Apple logo on the computer, the pallet cable. And that's it, I mean, that is the Mac Mini. It even says so on the website what's included in the box, the Mac Mini and the power adapter. Something else I find funny about the getting started guide or welcome to your Mac Mini is they assume that someone who buys a Mac Mini is going to splurge for a $6,000 XDR display. I just thought that was kind of cute. They have a lot of optimism, don't they? And just because this is the part I love the most. Looking at this, I wouldn't even know these cable ties were here. I mean, that looks incredible. I am actually really liking this setup. Yeah, actually, I actually need your help. Oh, okay, perfect. Because we're about to do is pull every cable and create channels. So I've watched a lot of cable manager videos. I'm trying to do this in my own setup. So Basically, we need to define where all of our cables are coming down from and create like channels. So like one channel that would come down from, two channels. You hope to just get one, we'll probably need two. So it is now time for the light strip. This is the same one that I have. It says it's Google Hub or Nest Hub compatible. I've never been able to figure that out with my other one. Mine works. Cool, so I found another project for you. The entertainment center is almost done. One of the things we have to do is mount the TV to the wall, but we don't have the screws to do that right now. So for now, this is uh, pretty much how it is. Honestly, it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. I mean, it's got bunny ears, but you know, not bad. It is currently seven o'clock, 6.57. 
and um, cable management actually looks pretty good. You can't really see it from like any angle until you get down here and then it's it's a rat's nest up there but right here looks pretty good. The bar on the desk hides a lot of it but yeah it's pretty bad up there but it's one channel coming down and that's kind of like very clean. Now I think it's time for you to set up your Mac Mini. It's about 8.23 the next morning. Actually, it is 8.23 the next morning. I am finishing up the office, getting some of the rest of the stuff, I guess, put up on the shelves and everything. But I am so excited to turn that Mac Mini on and we'll be doing that here in just a second. So everything is pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with it. I ended up moving this shelf in from out in the hallway because I realized I have a lot more stuff than I thought I did, which may be my next project, getting rid of some of the junk that I have in here. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it, and it should last me about two months before I get sick of it again and want to change it. Still need to mount the TV up on the wall. It looks kind of funny. Nevertheless, I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Now it is time for the moment I have been waiting for for way too long. So let's see, is the monitor on? The monitor is on, and Mac Mini is on. That gave me the chills. I suppose the question is now, is it hooked up to the right port in the HDMI switcher for it to work? Oh, maybe? Yes. So I think based on watching Nick yesterday, I'm going to have to set this up in a way. I'm not sure how to reset a Keychron keyboard. Lucky for me, I still have old Apple accessories. Keyboard? No. What about the mouse? No. <laughs> okay. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. Not going well. Hello. Question. I cannot get the mouse even hooked up to USB to work. So you're running into the exact same issue I have. I have what's called the Logitech Unifying Receiver. Yeah, that's great, except you're, um, or if you're a Mac user and are used to Bluetooth working properly, you don't keep them. Okay, switched to another mouse and it seems to be working. And there we go. We are now in a new boot, I suppose, of Mac OS. Now it is time, I suppose, to make sure that uh, I get everything set up so I can get this video edited and we should be good to go. One last update that actually makes itself pretty clear on camera. Nick and I last night got the LEDs finished for this desk and it looks so much better. I'll put up some pictures that I got last night of it. I love it. it looks great. So thank you all for watching this video on unboxing and setting up the Mac Mini. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and also check out some of our other Mac tutorials and videos on this channel and our how-to channel. I'll see you guys next time.